welcome to a new vlog. I'm Ave. I work in ceramics full time. And uh, yeah, new year, new vlog. It's Monday, January 3rd. I've actually been sick with COVID for the last week. Uh, I started feeling symptoms on Sunday after Christmas and a lot of my family members also got sick. Thankfully, we're all vaccinated. Most of us are boosted. I got a booster shot right before Anime NYC back in November. So thank goodness it hasn't been anything too crazy. As far as symptoms go for myself, it's just been I'm really tired and I'm already really tired because of my fibroid and being anemic. So now I'm just like extra tired. <laughs> and then um, no stuffy nose. Uh, just a sore throat and just trying to get through it. So, one of the things that I drew earlier this week um, was this. Oh, good, it's open. So, it's like my plan for a mug for a custom. I'm really excited to start it. And I was going to start it earlier in the month, but then holiday things got busy because I all of a sudden had to host. Christmas Eve for the first time for my family and if you don't know I'm one of five kids and both of my parents are in my life and we have dogs all everyone has dogs um, so it was a lot of people but it was all still just immediate family and we watched Encanto and it was great especially um, there's a lot of people I could relate to in that movie like Tia Peppa um, Maribel, definitely. <laughs> Luisa, also definitely. I could even relate to Bruno. It's a great movie. Anyways, I drew that, and this was the thing I drew that I drew for my patrons. They haven't gotten it yet, and I need to like write it up. So basically, it's like a little chart that they can use, and they have cute little faces. It's sort of like a mind map. And I did one with words and one without. The one with words. Uh, the center blob, the purple blob, is I want to feel, and then the idea is with the three orange blobs, you come up with goals to help you feel that way, and then after the orange blob comes the green blobs, and those are your action steps to help move along those goals. So I'm going to print one out for myself, fill it out a little bit, and take some pictures upload that for Patreon and hopefully get back on track. I feel like as soon as I'm like getting back on track, I get knocked back out. <laughs> uh, and it sucks. Can't let it, I can't let it bring me down. <laughs> Cause if I did, I won't get anything done. Hello vlog, um, it's the next day. I ended up taking a really long nap <laughs> yesterday and missed the daylight. Like it's almost four o'clock now and you can see like how dark the room is. Um, so I didn't record the video, but I did record it today. And I am very rambly, but I think we already knew that. It was good, it felt good. I also, um, drink this liquid rage that my brother got me for Christmas. Um, Agretsuko is one of my favorite animes on Netflix. So I was like, oh my gosh, tastes great. Definitely an energy drink. Um, way too much sugar in a drink that I would normally buy. But I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna wash it out and I'm gonna keep the can and put it next to my Bob Ross cereal box because it's cute. Any whoosies, the reason I am back on the vlog today 
is because my bullet journal finally came in. Oh my gosh. And I got this pink and green color. And it's really cute. I thought we'd open it together. Um, I've just been using my bullet journal from last year. This guy. Because uh, I have like 30 or so pages left. Which is more than I'd like for there to be left. So I am trying to think of ways to write in my bullet journal more. There was definitely a few months where I didn't even, like I didn't even use it. That's okay. That's why I like bullet journaling. Um, I don't ever feel bad for skipping pages, missing pages, giving intention to a page and then not following through, starting a spread and never finishing it, or you know, all the other random things that can happen. Um, for me, bullet journaling is super low pressure. And that's what I love about it. Oh, it came with a pen. That's cute. Oh my gosh. And the reason I went with Scribbles That Matter is because I was just like kind of wanting a, um, a, a thicker page. Not by much though. I didn't want to go. I think the thickest is like 160 GSM. That's really thick. Uh, but I definitely wanted a different color. And last year was Teku Core, which is like eight bucks eight or nine bucks and honestly it was great i really liked it and i really like um off-white slash ivory pages so when i was looking for a new journal i was really hoping that i would find one that in a color that i liked this is really pretty um that had number pages a pocket in the back this band i really like and that wasn't like a stark white so ooh, let's take this guy off and it's really soft and smooth it's definitely thicker i don't think it's as many pages though to be honest because it is thicker pages oh it's still white oh but what is this it's like a bullet journal ruler that's cool little index thing this is my first time with scribbles that matter this is 120 GSM and it's essentially twice as expensive but with the thicker pages it's made specifically for bullet journaling so it has the uh, the halfway mark which is really nice for making spreads that I I'm definitely gonna love that and it's not stark white like so stark that it's blue but it's definitely white so it's not ivory I think that's the only thing I'm not crazy about. Quite literally the only thing. Um, everything else about it, so far, first impressions. I love it. And I've been bullet journaling since 2017, maybe earlier, maybe 2016, but regularly I've been doing it since 2017. And I have three journals. So that means 2019, I started doing a year per journal. And, um, yeah i love it it's super helpful for my chaotic brain
a clean studio is so nice uh i just every time i clean my studio i'm like uh i need to do this more often so it's not so big of a deal and a clean studio feels so nice to work in anyways you'll see that i am working on uh, just some regular dice mugs, but these are the ones that are going to uh, a show opening up in Minneapolis, Minnesota at the Northern Clay Center. And the show is called Fandom. And I am so excited to be a part of it. It is my first like big show, I guess, in a gallery. And I did it because... Um, I don't know, something about being an artist and having work in a gallery at this capacity, it, it just feels uh, validating. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Being in a gallery definitely feels validating, um, especially when you're making commercial art. There's such a big stigma, I think, still in the art world and in the fine craft and modern craft world. Um around making work that sells and that it's not considered art but um i'm i'm just so grateful that northern clay center is giving me this opportunity to participate in something like this and i mean the same goes with fan art right like it's not my my art isn't like a direct reflection of certain things you know what i mean but um fan art gets the same sort of i don't know side eye i guess <laughs> from the community so i am just i'm so so excited to be in this show and it looks like from what i've seen the other artists in the show i think there's six of us total um it's gonna be a good one and the work will be available online as well as in person in the gallery there isn't an opening as far as i know um so I won't be flying out to Minnesota, <laughs> especially, you know, being March, it's still really cold. Um, but there will be a virtual, um, a virtual artist talk and that's happening in April. So when we're closer to the date, I will give you those details. Anyways, that's it for this vlog. This is mostly what I did in January. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy ceramics, pottery, and small business content, consider following my channel. And uh, comment down below if you've made it this far, comment a little cat emoji. Okay, that's it. Stay awesome. Bye!